Hey guys, what's going on? Back here today. We're going to be playing some more Farming Simulator 2019 on the new Rolling Hills map. Now, it's not released yet. I don't think today it will be. But anyway, one thing I noticed about these headers is that nothing really attaches to them. You know, the PTO doesn't attach. The And I know this is a beta, beta combine, but the other PTO doesn't attach. Actually, this is a special combine anyway. This header goes on the uh, Fent combine. The ideal combine. That one's... But yeah, the stuff doesn't connect. I wonder if I hook a John Deere head up to it. If it will or not. But anyway, today we are going to be starting harvest. Custom harvest. Actually, not really custom because we bought the whole map. Just because it's easier to... Uh, you know run things we're gonna go up to field 55 or 16 or 35 35 we already have a field 16 don't we oh we don't so that's one error with the map there's two fields and one but anyway we're first gonna start off with number one combine fire it off fire it up lift it up I wish we'd follow me. I'd have everything follow behind, and it'd make moving so much more faster. And the other thing is, we have to place down is a house because we gotta have a house. Now this house is going to go out here, right there. Oh shoot! I can't place it. What? Right there. There we go. We'll have it right there. And we'll check that out a little later. So we're going to go down this. This should be pretty smooth. It shouldn't be too bad to go down. This looks more like a 45 foot header. It doesn't look like a 35 at all. Maybe it's a 40. There's no numbers on it to tell you. But it might be a 40 foot. Let's look in the garage. Let's go to headers. We got a 25 foot, which is 8 meters roughly and a 12 meter one the 44 41 is 12 5 so this is a 40 foot I thought they had 35s they don't do they this is a 35 possibly what am I doing so a 12 is a 30 foot then because these are 13s and they're 45 so this is probably like a 38 I don't know we'll have to do the conversion and see we're gonna buzz up and find a road to get into here. So I know you guys like it realistic and all that, but I might just jump up on the road if I can't find one. Or if it's like all the way down. It should be just right off this road somewhere in here. And sometimes there isn't one because sometimes, because this map is still in beta, so I might just have to cross somewhere. Looks like there's some sort of drive whip there. And if not, I guess we could make one if we have to. I think there's a flat spot. I don't. I probably won't use the editor tools much. Maybe in like um, realistic series or something like. I don't know. Cause see, I usually just don't care and just cross it anyway. Oh, yep. Got to unfold the harvester. Wait for it to unfold. Kick it on, we'll take off cutting some soybeans. So yeah, you can see the tracks where I drove in at. That's the cool thing that I like. See the tracks are where you go. And we're just going to try and hire a worker somehow in here. I don't know exactly how yet. We're just going to hit the button and do what it wants to do. Like I said, I wish this all this was uh, public out to everybody so that we can... Do a big harvest that'd be really cool be really neat to see you know three combines rolling in a line behind each other and all that actually gonna close the map because we don't need it so we'll take this combine up there and then we'll take number three up there and then probably the grain cart to get the number one combine unloaded and we will probably end up going from there 
Uh, yeah, we'll probably just actually drive in right here. And hire out a worker. Like, at an angle or something. Like, at that kind of an angle. Fire this one out. And we'll take off with it. So all the combines leaving the yard. There's a little hole right there we should fix. But yeah, the reason why I don't usually do any dirt work because it's a lot of money. And then really I don't see the point in doing it. I like that it's there. I like that it's an option to do it because it is kind of fun just to mess with the tools. But before, if I needed to edit something, I'd just go in and edit the map. And I know a lot of people can't do that. A lot of people can't just go in and edit the map in Giants Editor and make things smooth or make pads. This is a lot easier if you got the money. So apparently, this header is a power flow header. And this, it takes the crop up into the head. So there's a belt pulling it into the auger, and then the auger's pulling it in the middle. And then, of course, there's an auger in the, or the feeder house, is pulling it into the combine. So we'll hire that guy out. We'll go ahead and jump in our big old 8R, 8245R, with the big fat floaters with the duels on it. Big fat floater duels, there we go. Should use this more often. We probably will take these duels off though. Because they're a little little overkill. So we're gonna take this up, get it unloaded, get the combines unloaded, all that good stuff. And I don't know if we'll have enough to really do anything yet. Shouldn't really take too long. Three combines, one field. I know for sure if we had three guys on here running them around the field that they'd almost be done by now. But the hired workers are just kind of slow. I mean, they just... They have a... Just turnaround time. So, like, when you turn around, they pick it up, they drive forward, they turn, they put it down. You know, a lot of messing around. Okay, so I ran this combine for a little bit. I think I'm going to jump in the grain cart and go ahead cut across this little grass patch up here and I think we're gonna go unload the other two combines quick because this one really isn't filling up because it's turning around too much on them short rows so we'll go up and go get the other two unloaded quick we will let's see what if these duels... Oh yeah, they make a big old wide path of destruction for the grass. So, let's turn this back on. Now let's go ahead and hit this button and put that button down. And then we got the map. We'll close it. Hope it'll be blocked. Is it this guy? I think it is. Okay. And also we have to take the semis to get it. Oh, I see. They're just stuck. That's all. Oh, boy. Kick it on. Normally you wouldn't do this with a combine. Probably should do the border. Get it all done. Probably won't. That one's gonna be really full. They do take a little lot long, a little longer to unload than the normal ones. So let's set our crews to not 16 mile an hour. We'll try six. We'll get close to it. Yeah, we're definitely gonna take these duels off. Maybe even put row crops on. We'll see. Should have put big tires on the combine. That's what should have done. Could have done that. But I feel like that one's going to be the fullest. So we'll get this one unloaded. We'll get that one unloaded. And then the one over there. So I'm pretty sure the one that's full is back there. Yeah, so one across the thing. They do take a little while to unload. 
Which is realistic, you don't just like dump it quick. It's more more realistic. Kinda sucks when you're by yourself doing it though. Cause you kinda just wanna get it unloaded quick when you're running like just the combine yourself. I'm guessing that one's at 80 now. Yep. This one's not quite unloaded. One of these is gonna get full and I'm Probably gonna go get that one next. Actually, probably that one because he's dumping. Okay, so he's empty. I'm gonna go ahead and drive all the way down. Bottom of the field. These tires look sweet on here. They are very, very cool. So we'll go down, get this guy unloaded. He's probably about full. He looks pretty full to me. Oh, shoot. Jackknifing. Should have got the 8970. Actually, we haven't really decided if we want the 89 on here. We might switch it up for later on. Just might switch it up. So I think we can get done with this. We'll go up to that big field up there. Get it going. Getting it knocked out. We'll probably just leave most of this shouldn't take too long to knock this field out we got it opened up and back and forth now shouldn't take too terribly long so anyway hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did hit that like button and we will see you all next time